and welcome to the chroma side of YouTube so today I kind of was inspired by a weird thing <laughs> anyway um, it is very weird to be inspired by something weird but let's get to it so I do mixed media and anyone who does mixed media knows the brands uh, there's it's very hard to find things that are really cool, like art supplies, to use mixed media. You have Tim Holtz, you have Jane Davenport, and uh, you have Prima Marketing, with just to name a few of them. Um, there are many different types. You can go to Michaels, get their brand. You can go to Hobby Lobby, get their brand. But it's the uh, best thing about mixed media is you can use whatever you have at home, or you can buy art supplies to do it with. Now, me, personally, I love Finnabar by Prima Marketing. And I just, oh, so excited. I just hit up the best sell at Michael's this weekend. Um, these are called Opal Magic. Now, do you see how tiny these things are? They are teeny, teeny, tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny. But they go, they go a long way, and they are called Opal Magic. The cool thing about Opal Magic is you can use them on white or black gesso um, or paint, whatever. And they look completely different from each other on there. Now I'm going to try and get this close so you can see. You see what I mean? This is what it looks like on black, and this is what it looks like on white. So how cool is that? There, it, hold on, let's see, right there. Okay, so how cool is that? This is the box that it comes in. So when you go to Michael's, there, it, Finnabar is on the end cap. Now, I'm so excited because this box, saw how teeny tiny they are. This box was $15, $16 normally. Okay. <sighs> I love you guys, but I'm not in, I am not, thank you for focusing camera, in the business of buying that little bit of paint for $15, $16. But, Michaels had a 40% off sale this weekend with this, and then they let me stack my 25% off coupon, which brought this box down to $7, from $15 to $7. I say yes, 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 all day long. I will buy that for $7 all day long. So, I got to thinking and I was like, well, I would really love to use those in a pour. But I am not about to use those in a big pour. So, I've decided that I was going to do a little small pour. Now, what I did was I just took my little baby... My little baby round palette knife and I just dipped it in this thing and two times and then the rest of this is basically flow trout and water because I'm not going to use a whole ton of that paint on a pour now I'm going to use it in my mixed media projects but I'm not going to use it in pours very often so I just wanted to see if I could it's a grill acrylic based paint and let's have at it now I did think about this a little bit and I decided I wanted to do kind of like the this is gonna be the black side <laughs> um I wanted to do it like the picture on the box I wanted to flood my canvas with white and black but I wanted to do it on a diagonal and uh, blow the middle of course because I like to do the blowing thing now I don't know why but I think it looks cool and then I wanted to do um, swipes. I don't know if I want to do half and half. I think I'll do half and half instead of at a diagonal. <coughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, and then I'm going to do swipes of all three colors. So, let's get started. Um, I, I am going to put one drop of dimethicone in each one of my opal colors. But I'm not going to do it in my flood colors. Okay, so here we go.
Sorry guys, you're gonna see the back of my head. All right, the white side is flooded. Now let's do the buck side. I think this is gonna be really cool to see the difference in colors on white versus black. So, my boyfriend and I, we really like to uh, attend local rock bands, um, performances and stuff. Like, I don't know why. I, th I just think, we think it's fun. I mean, you know, live music is always awesome to us. Anyway, in May, we are going to travel down to Orlando, Florida. And I'm really excited about it. Um, I may end up taking that week off of painting, but I haven't decided yet. You know how addicted I am to it, but, uh, I just, I don't know, um, if I'm going to do painting that week. So, um, I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I just, I really want to enjoy the weekend and not have to worry about, oh, I've got to upload these paintings. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. But, uh, I just wanted to start talking about it because I'm really excited. Now, this is the sad part. The, the play, the show that we're going to, um, is going to be this particular band's farewell show. And I'm really sad about that because they rock. They are awesome. Their name is Anyone's Guess. And they totally rock. Um, they came up to Georgia about a year ago in October, and they blew the doors off the place, and I just, I'm really going to miss them as a band because they, they, they knew how to do it. I mean, I'm telling you, but you know, all good things come to an end, I guess. All right. Now I'm going to tilt. Of course, I'm going to tilt this way first. Then I'm going to tilt this way. And then I'm going to tilt this way. And then I'm going to tilt this way. Okay, now, gotta grab a straw, where did my straw go, there he is, okay, here we go, Mm-hmm. Very cool. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. The thing is, is I see a little white spot on the black that I don't like. I was going to use my tweezers to get it off, but I have decided that I'm going to attempt to get it off with a tack instead. Because I cannot find my tweezers. Mm. Okay. 
that makes me feel better. All right. Now, now I'm just going to stir in this dimethicone. Okay. And I'm going to go in here like so with each one. Awesome. And I'm going to go in here like so with each one. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my white palette knife right here and I'm going to swipe it. Very cool. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it around because I'm better at swiping with this hand over here. Wipe, wipe the black one off. Wow. That is awesome. Okay, I think I really am going to leave it like that. I'm not going to mess with it at all. Because I kind of like the fact that they're both kind of going like that. Um, they do go all the way to the bottom. Both, both colors do. The black turns out super cool. The white turns out okay. I, I'm good. Now... I'm going to torch because I've got domesticone in there, and why not? So this is exactly what I wanted here. I've got lacing here, even though I don't have any dimethicone in there. And then this is exactly what I wanted as well. Nice, uh, nice cell action. I'm excited. This looks beautiful. Let, I'm going to get you guys closer. Let me get you guys down and take a closer look. So these are the white side. This is the middle where I blew it. Love that. And then this is the black side. Now the black side, it, because they are opal, like they're iridescent, they do show up better on the black. So if I were to ever, if I were to ever use this paint again, I would use it on black. But I'm really excited that I used it on the white. I do really, really like this painting. I think it's different. I like the contrast between white and black. I like the subtle pastel colors over here. I like the opal, shiny, um, iridescent colors over here. I just, I really, really, really love this painting. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy I did this experiment. Anyway, if you guys like what I do, please give me a thumbs up for a like. Hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications whenever I put up new videos. I hope you guys like this little experiment. Like I said, I doubt you guys will want to go out and buy this paint for pouring, but I highly recommend it for um, mixed media. I really like the two different... Um, color looks to it um but uh anyway um it was really cool if you ever want to get in touch with me if you see something that you absolutely want to buy from me if you like my paintings you can always get in touch with me at chromastormarts at gmail.com you can always 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 get in touch with me there just put youtube in the subject bar and that will be awesome as well as, you can visit my website at www.chromastormarts1.com. Anyway, I hope you guys were inspired today, 
And I hope you guys definitely have a great day today. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you will get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.